Morning guys, got a review on the Nomad for you today. I've tried doing this review a couple of times now because the resolution keeps going weird when I upload it to YouTube. I'm hoping that doesn't happen this time, but if it does, I do apologise. I'm not sure what's going on with that. Right, I've got a top tier game on Ardennes. There's a few tier 7s, but it's mainly a tier 8 game. Um, the reason I've picked this one though is because it shows the armour at work, which is one of the things that separates this tank from the AMX 5100 on the French tech tree. So a quick overview of the tank while we're waiting to get into a fight. So yeah, tier 8 French heavy tank, it plays up to tier 10. It's got an auto loading gun, it's got 5 shells in the clip. Damage potential is 1500. The accuracy is about 0.4, aiming time is around 2.6 I believe. It's pretty good for an auto loading gun. The reload however is over 40 seconds so you do have to be careful of that. And you've got to plan for your reloads, make sure you can retreat because it's quite a way. Penetration wise you're looking at just over 230 on the standard shells and just over 260 on the premium shells. Which should be enough to see you through most situations providing you're careful with your aiming. The tank also has 10 degrees of gun depression which is quite nice. The armour is decent as you're going to see um, and the mobility is okay considering you know it is fairly well armoured. It's a lot slower than the other French tanks, um, auto loading ones at least, so it might catch a few people off guard that. Now here I'm just waiting to see if anything comes along. I don't normally come to the town on this map, I normally go around the outside and flank but being on an auto loader I wanted to stay close to cover. First target is an IS-3A. I get trolled a little bit, but... I also wasn't paying attention to my side. Tunnel vision. That teammate there just saved me from taking even more damage. I can't thank that guy enough for that. Um, I was taking damage there due to my own lack of situational awareness and the teammate saved me from that. At this point I'm waiting on the reload. Like I said, it is 40 odd seconds, it's quite a wait. I don't want to go back to where I was because there's too many green tanks there now. We're all just going to get in each other's way. So I figure I'll turn around, I'll go try finding damage elsewhere. Ideally, I want to go and flank the IS-3A and put my clip in his side. But there's a boss and he's looking at something, so I want to see if I've got shots, but I don't believe I do. When that tank's vanished, I carry on with my initial plan. I figure the boss is not going to fire if nothing's spotted, so hopefully I won't block a shot. Which I didn't, thankfully. Now I was suffering some lag on this game, as you're about to see, because my first shot hits the building. There's another shot in a minute where he drives off and then two seconds later I shoot thin air. But that's no fault of the tank, that was my connection. Had some bad luck here with the shells going into his tracks, but it's no matter, I'll be reloaded in a minute. I backed off because I realised he's got a platoon mate in the Favelin nearby, so I'm wary of him coming round. So I'm backing away and then I'm going to angle my armour a bit. Now my tracks eat a shot from the motherland over there, and then the Favelin I mentioned a minute ago, he's about to show up. Now he's got a decent gun, but it bounced off my armour, as did another shot by the motherland. Now I'm still reloading here, in a bit of a bad spot to be fair, if I was in pretty much any other auto loader I would have lost a chunk of health right now. But this one's standing up to the punishment quite well, Favlin's going to come back again in a minute. And again, it bounces off, and like I say he's got a decent amount of penetration on that gun. But now I'm loaded and I know I need to get rid of this IS-3, because I don't want him and the Favlin trying to link up and work together. We go in the corner and clip him out while he uh, doesn't have any shots. I've got two left in my clip. I wanted to go and kill the Carnarvon up here because the team are asking for help. But I figure I've just killed a guy who's in a platoon. His platoon mate's probably going to want revenge, which he does. So I've put two shots into him. And I figure here, this is my game done. But I bounce his first shot. Now, I've still only got about 800 odd health, 852 it seems. I've got a 40 second reload. So you'd expect that, you know, I'd be going back to the garage. Again, bounce another shot. Now his next one aims at the turret and that goes in, that's something to bear in mind. This has got decent hull armour but the turret, that's not so great. Quick shout out to the green team players here, these um, two were helping me before and they've shown up again to help me. They were really good players, I really appreciated those two being on the team. Favlin bounced another shot again and at this point I know I'm going to load before he reloads. So I'm backing off so I can get a nice shot on him at this point. Waiting for the show to go in the chamber and then he's gone.
Now this is a bit of a perilous position for the team because they're making a push on our base. We do have a couple of tanks up there and I recognise the names of one of the players and I do believe he's a fairly good player so I was hoping they could handle that. Because with how little hit points I've got I would have been exposed going up there. It would have been easy for him to kill me. So I'm going down here. You can see the mobility. It's about 37. Cruise is about 36, 37. It's not too bad. It's a lot slower than the other auto-loading French heavies but you know they don't have this kind of armour. Uh, there's going to be a, another lag spike in a minute, so my tank's going to do a bit of a weird wiggly kind of thing and look toward the rocks, but that only lasts for a second and then I carry on. I'm hoping to get some shots in on TDs that I know are over here, mainly because I can clip each of them. They've got about a thousand hit points, so I should easily be able to take one of those out of the game. Now the challenge in a minute is going to fire, and the tank that is reloading is the perfect prey for an autoloader, but I mess up. I can't crest a hill here, so all I've done is give away my position. The challenger is backed off, understanding the danger. And I have to go further down. And I try cresting the ridge while I'm still spotted, my second mistake. And I paid for it. However, like I said in one of my earlier reviews, if you fired, move. This guy didn't move. And this shows what happens when you don't. At this point, I've had a decent game. Ten pens at least, I believe. Um, although it's game over. The armor's good, but obviously, you know, artillery don't really care about your whole armor so much. Overall, though, the tank is good fun. It's the first auto load I've played that can really get stuck in. I mean, the T-57 can, but it has to be wary because its turret is paper and everyone knows where to pen it. At the moment, at least, this thing can brawl and bounce a fair few shots while it's doing it. If you like auto loaders, I'd say buying this is a no-brainer. You should just do it. It's a fun tank. I'm fairly new to auto loaders for the most part, um, and there is a learning curve to it. It's not an easy tank. You've really got a plan where you're going to go during your reloads. You've got a plan, you know, retreats and stuff. Um, you need to be good at your angling to make the most of your armor. It does have 10 degrees gun depression, so on an open map, you can use a ridge. But you've got to be careful because it's easy to fall into the trap with an auto loader of sitting exposed wanting to unload your full clip and you can take damage while you're doing that so you've always got to bear that in mind you want to try and keep engagements one on one clip somebody while you can't get shot by anybody else if you can do that then you do well in auto loaders the tank earns a decent amount as well i've been earning around 100k per game um, I, I used the um, french food consumable for some of those as well which instantly knocks 20k you know off the uh, off the profit so yeah i am quite impressed with it um it's a nice looking tank as well which i think helps i think wargaming did quite well with the camo and things on this one so yeah it's good i do i highly recommend this tank but it's it's one that has a learning curve it's not when you can just jump in and just go murdering everything you might have to figure it out as you play it, but stick with it and it's a rewarding tank. Bring up the stats quickly. I mentioned them in the video, but if anyone wants to have a look, you can just pause the video there, have a quick look. I'm hoping to get some extra games in tonight. I'm going to try using the Banshee so I can get a review up um, for that tank. I've played a few games in it so far, but none of them have been good. I've not had very good luck. So if I can get a half decent game or at least one that shows, you know, what the tank can do and its potential, then I'll get a review up for that because I know that was requested on the forum thread as well. It's a good looking tank, I'll give it that, I do quite like the look of it, and it's fun, I just need to get good with it. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching guys, I appreciate it. If you liked the vid, please do drop a like or a sub, and I'll uh, get another video up.